Well, you know, I thought that punk rock bands were supposed to be, you know, anti-authority, against the grain. They were going to go along with the narrative, but that's just not the case anymore as more and more of these bands like The Offspring are falling in line. And we're going to talk about what they did to their drummer here, guys. We're going to get into all the details. Off the top, we mentioned, if you would like to make a generous donation to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. As we are demonetized here on YouTube, they don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon for you down below. or just five bucks a month on Patreon. Get you bonus content. Also, we include the links for the YouTube videos to make sure you get all the alerts when new content arrives. Then when you're there, you can just comment on these videos censorship-free. Avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments you guys write. Also, make sure you sub to us on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check us out on Rumble. Then, guys, all those links are down below. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about Pete Parada, the drummer. Well, I guess now former drummer of The Offspring was asked by the remaining members of the band to leave the group because he would not get the jab. Now, it wasn't just him saying, well, I have no interest to get this jab and that's it. No, he actually has a medical condition that goes back to the times that he was a child called Guillain-Barre syndrome. And well, he basically had a bad reaction to a jab that he got when he was a child that had left him paralyzed in many ways. And well, he said that even with his doctor, talking with his doctor about the situation currently, advised him that, well, you should not be taking this jab for the Rona because the risks, well, it's just not worth it for you. And Prada had talked about the fact that he got the Rona last year. It was a mild case. He recovered fine from it. He said, if I got it again, I'm confident that I would beat it. However, I don't feel that I would beat another bout of this syndrome that I had when I was a child if I were to encounter some other sort of a bad reaction. So he said, it's just not worth my life. But you would think that the band would understand that, right? Someone that they have worked with for years. I mean, The Offspring has been together for so long now, but no, not the case at all. He said this in a post that he put out on social media that apparently, well, people don't feel safe around him and that the band thought it was best that he left the group because, well, they have concerts coming up here for the, coming up in the latter part of this year. And they just don't believe that it's right if Pete is alongside with the band playing with them at these shows. Now, look, I mean, it really shows you right now how divided people are going to be, how they are going to be willing to excommunicate, in this case, their bandmate. Or, you know, I'm sure they were good friends, but they'll act as if they were never their friend at all because they don't go along with something. Especially in his case, having this condition since the time that he was a kid you'd think they'd be sympathetic to that but no absolutely not they could care less about that they're just saying nope you got to get out of the band no get out of the band we don't want you here we don't care you need to be part of this you need to be a part of the new world that's coming don't tell us about what happened to you when you were a child we don't want to hear it excluding people it's bad enough that look everybody has their own rights their own decisions to do what they want when it comes to this but i mean if you so if you're shutting anybody for that reason alone is just silly but especially in a case like this for somebody in his condition that has gone through what he's gone through because of the poke it's sick to me to see this happening but we know people are willing to never see their family members again if they don't go get a jab. People have said this. I don't want them at my house for Thanksgiving or I don't want them at my house for Christmas. I'll never talk to this person again. Look, before it was over a certain politician. Now it's over a jab. See, either way, the division is still there. They're still finding a way to divide. It's just with a different thing. In this case, they chose the Rona. Uh, anybody who supports The Offspring, look, you shouldn't support them anymore. Uh, if, if you liked him in the past, you know, if you were any fan here of Pete Parada as the drummer, if you respect somebody, they should have the right to make their own decisions when it comes to this sort of thing. 
then um, maybe the offspring could be sent a clear message that fans just won't attend their shows uh, because they don't want to be around a band or a group uh, that pushes and advocates for what they do, which is separation and uh, really discrimination. And um, I, I'm, an, I'm afraid that more are going to come. Uh, it's just a matter of time. We're going to start to see this more and more. And we'll be here to report on it as long as we possibly can. Um, this is why we do these videos, guys. I can't stress this enough. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are going on around the world because we are in the last days. Jesus is coming back soon. Are you ready to meet him as your Lord and Savior? That's the question I have. You know, this is the day of salvation for you. Not tomorrow, not in a week, a month. No, today. All the signs are here. We're approaching the end. It's time to get saved. How you do that is by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Now what you have to do is you have to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry. You have to actively turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says that he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.